Hello, right, everyone. So, so I've got B Lord in the building right here. And B Lord is talking about the recently trending news how he rejected a 10 million US dollar, not 10 million naira, 10 million US dollar offer to buy out his app. So, B Lord, tell us. What exactly is this app about and how did this transaction happen? How did you start the process of the app? Over to you. Thank you, Daddy Freeze. You know, um, this app, Bill Point, it came as an idea during the um, bank issue, and era scarcity. Then all the banks were messing up. So I was trying to buy data on my phone. The bank app were not working. So I said, why not download, um, develop an application that doesn't have anything to do with the bank? That it will be working on its own 24 hours without the bank. Because the bank, sometimes the mobile app doesn't open. So I said, OK. Uh, I got some, some guys, tech guys in UK. So they came. We were on call. So the offer to develop bill point for 150k dollars. So mm -hmm. we negotiated down to 120k. That, so they started the US app. Dollars. People need to yes, 420k US dollars. US dollars. I paid I paid in Bitcoin. I paid in Bitcoin. You know? There is this rumor that Bitcoin is illegal in Nigeria, that you can't use Bitcoin in Nigeria. How true is that? Uh that is it's not there's a there's uh people are misunderstanding that so the the our main thing the cbn was trying to say is um we don't have anything to do with bitcoin they're letting the public know that you can do your bitcoin but it's not our problem if they use bitcoin to scam you you can never report that case to the police station mm. because mm. CBN has distanced themselves from cryptocurrency. And you know CBN controls the bank. And CBN told the bank also, distance yourself from anything crypto. Mm. Mm. So mm. it doesn't mean um, CBN say if you are doing crypto, they should arrest you. No, they've not declared CBN illegal. Before they declare um, crypto illegal, it has to pass through laws. They ask for assembly before they will say, okay, crypto is illegal. But that thing never happened. So crypto is is legal, but the CBN at your own risk. At your own risk. So it's your own business. If you are doing crypto, it's your own. But that doesn't mean if you do crypto, it will arrest you against the FCC. And I treat crypto. That was the business I imputed in court. That that's my business, crypto. So I won the case despite I treat crypto. So crypto is never illegal. Mm. Okay, so back to your story. Sorry I interrupted you because a lot of people will ask, oh, he paid with crypto. How is that done? So I, I need some clarity. Okay, you. so I paid, I paid crypto because... You paid $120,000 using crypto to the yes. people designing that. Yes, go ahead. Yes, yeah, I paid them with crypto because I don't know how to send them money abroad. So we had mm -hmm. to do the transfer in crypto. So it was, um, they got a, the Bitcoin, they started their development. And the app was um, developed under one month. So the honest truth is, I never expected much from the app because it said the profit margin on that airtime and data is very poor. If I show you my system now, the profit I make per each transaction sometimes three naira, four naira, five naira. So the the the, the transaction uh, profit is not big. So you have to do a lot before you can make money. So on the first week of release, the app. The first day, the app got 50,000 downloads and 50,000 users. On the first day, I made, on the first week, I made 25 million naira. On the first week of release, the app was number one in Nigeria and number five in the US. I made 25 million on the first week. And the app doesn't need um, manpower. It goes automatically. So. I have the resources already, I have staff already, I have the office, I have the old everything. So the app was like a, a free something to my to my company. So we just had to employ three people for customer care, one for morning, one for afternoon, and one for night. So the salary there is no more than 600K. 
Oh. This app is a month and one week now, and um, we've generated over 105 million. Oh, oh wow, that is almost you've made your investment back literally because yes, you yes, said you invest, uh, as 120,000. Uh, let, let me use my calculator 120,000 dollars times 750 because that's the rate you said you invested 90 million yeah so you've already made a profit of 15 million in one month is that even possible very possible if um uh, the the thing is um there's uh, in every business there's secrets mm. so the the what i what where the main profit is is from those data I have to manage to work with Airtel, MTN, and um, Glow. I work with this network directly. So I paid in bulk. I want to buy something in bulk. There's a discount. Mm. So in the data aspect, I make so much profit. So the thing, um, I, 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 I saw the potential of the app. If this app can give me 100 million every month, that means in one year is 1.2 billion. So I said, um, this app is still going to grow because I'm sure it's not going to make 100 million next month. It's going to make more than that because the users are growing every day. Currently, we are at 272,000 users already. So I got to my email. My manager told me that um, they sent an email proposing to buy the application. So they will set up a meeting. So we uh, we joined the meeting and um, they were offering ten million dollars for the app. So mm. the whole the whole thing that scattered the stuff was um, was um, the 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 paying the payment they are paying with CBN rates. That's CBN five thousand dollars or six thousand. Sorry, that's already six million dollars. It don't reduce. It don't. They don't come up forty percent. Yeah. Why did so, <laughs> they pay you with Bitcoin? They, they, they don't talk about Bitcoin. They said they're going to pay me with um, CBN rate, which is 450. I looked at it and I said to myself, that means this guy is going to make his profit. If I use my data, the, the data, the data, the profit he made this month, that means this guy will make the profit in four months. It's, it's, it's nonsense for me. And it's not that I'm, I'm looking for money or the company is owned by my all my company shares are owned by me. I have nobody in between. I don't sell shares. I don't have investors. Everything is me. I own every single thing in my company, every dime. So I can make decision at any time. So I looked at it 4.5 billion because people don't understand that. 10 million dollars. I think 10 million dollars is 7.5 billion. But mm. this one I'm telling us is 4.5 billion. Mm. Mm. So that the freeze had to, my team agreed that we should sell it since it's new. And everybody just said a billion. Mm -hmm. So I said, uh, and the condition they said, I can't, I can't develop any app that will have bill payments. I will never, oh. I will never develop any app that has good payment until I leave this world. Oh boy, in a full time lifetime contract. Because if I develop another app, all my fans will come to the app. Hmm. So there's no point. Hmm. Because I have a dream to develop my own bank app. And my bank app is supposed to have utility bills. Hmm. So I looked at it that this will just tie me down. I can't develop any app again. Because any app I'm developing is supposed to have a little utility bills. Hmm. So uh, that if Frieza looked at what am I going to do with 4.5 billion? Is it going into real estate or is it going to this thing? When I'm seeing daily profits every day, I'm seeing profits. Oh. So and I have businesses. This is not my. This is just a side, a new business. I have jet pay, 
my jet pay business is paying very well. At least my jet pay business generates around um, 80 million every month, the Bitcoin side. Hmm. So it's not that money is the problem. Money is never the problem. Or uh, that I have problem. I don't have any financial issue. I live according to my standard. So I don't see any reason for selling the app for 4.5 billion. So I felt I can grow the app with oh. my influence. And growing the app is very cheap for me because if you look at very well, I didn't pay any influencer. I do all the influencing job myself. All the billboards are my pictures. So influencers are not my problem. I do the influencing thing myself. So we are looking at maybe in the next three months, and we, do, uh, we can send uh, and do an offer to come into the app. Let's, let's see what Dividu can do for us. So huh. That's the plan. So wow. um, I'm in Lagos now. I'm in Lagos. I came for I came to meet my consultant. I've applied for CBN license. So I want to see if I can compete with OP in the banking system. Hmm. And the and the license costs around uh, 1.2 billion to acquire the C wow. CBN license. Wow. Yeah. And it's a it's state license that I, I can't operate outside my state. Wow. A, 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 a microfinance bank. So where would you like to operate? If you get this license, would you want to operate in Lagos or would you want to operate in Anambra? Um, I will operate in Anambra. Huh. That's where uh, I live. And I like to uh, do my investment in my state. That's where I have mouths. Like in Anambra, I have mouths. In this Lagos, I don't have mouths. Uh, out. We don't understand. What do you mean by mouth? I have ground, you know. I know everybody down to the governor. So it's my state. Everybody knows me in my state. From the AIG, the Commissioner of Police. So there's nothing that can happen to me in my state. Nobody can shut mm. down my business. So mm, mm, mm. doing so, business in Anambra is very cheap. Oh, would you advise people right now to invest in Anambra, is it somewhere you advise people to invest for now, just off? See, the thing is, is um, if your business is an online business that don't need um, physical customers, you can come to Anambra because see, my head office, my head office will pay $7 million for rent. That's in Anambra? Yes, $7 million for rent. And it's a two-story building, a very big, with mm -hmm. so many floors. But in Lagos, yeah, I paid this million for one small shop. Yes, no. something like this kitchen. Hmm. House for my estate now seven million. <laughs> Just I said for Lucky Phase One, my shop, my office is one room, seven million. But in Anambra, seven uh, six million. Sorry, but in Anambra, seven million will give you two story building. Hmm. So Lagos is very expensive to do business. Especially when your crowd is online. Yes, so you don't need the office in Lagos. What is that you need the office in Lagos for? Mm. You can do, you can mm. do the office in Anambra where it's cheap for you. Your customers can be community your customers can be communicating online. So what am I coming to Lagos for? So that they can't give, start giving me big tasks. Give me so much tasks. Electricity bill in Nana. Do you know my office? I pay electricity bill of uh, forty thousand every month in my office. But in Lagos, I pay seventy thousand for light. <laughs> Lagos is expensive. Wow! 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 So, uh, but what's the future for fintech apps and even Bitcoin as a whole, in your opinion? Honestly, I never knew fintech is this rich honestly if you have a successful app my brother you are made for life you are made for life one successful app you are made for life you are made forever because there are people ready to buy hmm. 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 So we just sitting down and looking for a solution people need and bring it out as an app because i saw data 
is one of the major problems. Buying lights and buying gift cards. I had to add on all of them. I came to Lagos as well. I just left um, Wakana office. I just finished um, business with them. We signed a deal. So I'm bringing flights into Bill Point. So you, know, you can now book flights in Bill Point. You see mm. those things I gather? I'm gathering them up, making the app expensive. Mm. Imagine mm. booking flight on Bill Point. Ah. In each flight, I can make 3,000. Imagine mm. 1,000 people booking flight a day. That is 3 million. Mm. There's money. Mm. There's serious money in this fintech, honestly. Like, <laughs> there's serious money. And secondly, we have security. Do you know that we have three Russian hackers that test our system every month? We pay them, uh, uh, we pay them uh, $33,000 to test our, our app, to attack our system and see if they can hack. So when it comes to hacking, we are so secured. Wow. The only problem fintech have is publicity, adverts, trust, and I have all of them for free. Hmm. Publicity, adverts, trust. I have Let's all. talk about why do you think people should trust? One, because I have three offices, physical offices. I have one in Lagos, in Lekki, is on the road. Mm. I have uh, one in Wuse, Abuja, is on the road. My head of office is on the road. I'm planning to open in Port Harcourt. Mm. So, mm. I don't think somebody that has offices like that would be trying to play games. He has to be serious with his business. So, that's why I'm always very sure of whatever I'm bringing up because getting me is very easy. Mm. Catching me is easy because of mm. my pieces. So I don't mm. want to fuck up. I don't want to fuck up because if somebody find me, they will catch me sharp sharp. Mm. I get you. I get you. So, that, so I use that office to build trust. It's not that the office is, is just the office is just there for trust, for trust sake. So most time our customers go to the office in Lagos to complain if they have any issues. I don't think there's any crypto company like that in Nigeria that will allow you to come to their office. Mm. I use mm. that idea. Mm. 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 Anyway, I always like to tell people whatever business you do in this life, you do it at your own risk. Um, um, people like, hey, give me guarantee, give me guarantee. But then when the problem happens, they pull out, they pull back. Yeah. Yeah. So I always like telling people on my platform, business is risky. He put $120,000 according to his story. What if the app did not work? $100,000 nice $100, has gone. That's gone. <laughs> that was gone forever. 90 million naira like this, poof. Gamble. I played gamble. Gamble. Mm -hmm. So you want, you want a business that you will put in 200,000 and get 50 million. But you are not worried that your 200,000 can disappear. Mm -hmm. So that's Nigerian story. That's why me, I always tell them that, that if it's not responsible for any business decisions you make, that if it's not responsible for any financial transactions you do, learn it yourself, do it well, learn from the experts. FinTech, like Bill Lord has said, is the way forward. Look around you and solve problems. Do you know why I like this guy? I gave him a test question. I said, ah, why are you not coming to Lagos? I said, no. He would rather go and develop where he is from. And from there, expand to everywhere, but develop Anambra. My wife is from Anambra State. Wow. Um, where are you from in Anambra? Okay. Uh-uh. She's from Oka to where in Oka? Ebenebe. Oh, she's from Amorbia. Amorbia, no Amorbia. No. Ah. Amorbia is very close to me. Uh -huh. Amorbia is close to, me, to, uh -huh. to my house. So, wow. Um, you, you see, the world has become a global village. 
there are people who work in America. You are going to start seeing this trend over the next 10 years. They are going to start relocating to Africa where bills are cheaper, where yes. cost of life is cheaper because their work is remote. That one or two they have at the head of office in America once or twice a year, if they travel and come back, it's still cheaper than living in America. So you are going to see people living in Oshu State, working in New York, living in Anambra, working in South Korea. The world is globalizing and becoming one big village. So the more you, you develop places like Anambra, like, like Oshu State, like Kogi State, all those far fetched states, the better it is for Nigeria. We cannot only have only Lagos and Abuja. So everybody wants to come to Lagos. Ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Everybody wants to come to Lagos. See, the thing is, um, I live in Anambra. People who will say, Bilo, what are you doing in Anambra? Why, why not come and stay in Lagos? Come and stay in Abuja. So many people are my tenants in Lagos. I have so many tenants in Lagos. So many tenants. Because the real estate we do, my company does is renting. We don't sell houses. We are not looking for anywhere to do. We are not doing our real estate to make money. We are doing our real estate to invest money. So our company, we invest money in real estate. So what we do, we come to Lagos and buy houses and rent it. We don't, we just want to keep the house there, we want to just buy a house and save money. So, so many people are my tenants in Lagos and some people are my tenants in Abuja. Mm. I have I have I have I have houses in Abuja and I have a personal house that I live in Abuja too. But I like Anambra because of how small where I live is. Like Abuja, when I was in Abuja yesterday, before I go and eat, I would drive 40 minutes before I would go and eat. Abuja is so big that before you go and see something. Where are the places like I've been to Anambra before? Where are the like places? Like you say in Oka now. If you say in Oka, if you say in Oka, everything is there for you. There's no place that is taking more than five minutes in Oka. Everything. If you live in Oka now, they said it, they said it's there, everything is together. Unlike Abuja, that you drive 40 minutes. But in Anambra, everything is close, very close to you.